So ever since, I've only ever used my phone to film and edit videos and it took a lot of learning how to get good angles and which apps works the best, which I will be teaching you today. So the phone that I am currently using is an iPhone 13 Pro Max but any phone works just as fine. So the first thing that you will be needing is a tripod or anything that would make your phone stand when you're doing your content. So before I used to have a much better tripod but then it broke. So this is the one that I am currently using now. So you can get tripods anywhere. They are usually cheap online and really it's a big investment if you're gonna start doing videos. So it would be good to get a good one. So for my content, I usually put my tripod in front of my desk and let it stand there for angles that I would like to get the full frame of my desk. When it comes to overhead angles, I usually put my tripod on top of my desk to get a much better view and I just adjust the angle depending on which looks best. to filming details or close-ups, I usually take my phone off the tripod and film it myself to get a better view of the details. But sometimes I also use this kind of phone stand whenever I want my hands to also be seen. Really, it's just exploring which angles works best for your content, but I like to do mine overhead, at the side, and even taking the details and close-ups. Which actually brings us to the next topic, which is your content, or what you would like to film. So when it comes to content, this would usually depend on your skills, passions, and hobbies, so it's really up to you to explore which ones you'd like to film. When I started my account, it was only just journaling until I started venturing into stationary halls and then calligraphy, ASMR, and even vlogging. Skillshare who sponsored today's video. Skillshare is an online learning community that allows you to discover new skills, hobbies, or passions and improve them. You can explore all kinds of classes for your creativity depending on which ones you're interested in. And there are a lot of interesting and helpful categories for each classes, such as arts and craft, photography, productivity, and more. There are also helpful videos here on how to start your journey as a social media content creator. If you'd like a more helpful guide on filming and editing your videos for YouTube, then this online learning community would be an amazing chance for you to explore your creativeness. Skillshare's unique feature learning paths are curated sequential class collections to master a specific skill or competency. This comes in a wide range of experience levels whether you're a beginner or advanced at your chosen skill to improve on. And I personally would love to try their journaling and painting classes. So again, if you're having trouble with what contents you can film, then this would be an amazing chance for you to explore them. If you're interested, the first 500 people to join Skillshare using my link in the description box will get one month premium for free. Now moving on to the last and important stage of all, it's editing. So when it comes to editing, I usually use two apps. The first one is CapCut. So firstly, 
finally, of course, you would need to select the clips that you would like to edit. So what I like to do is that I review everything first before I do any editing so that I could check if I am missing any clips or if I need to delete anything that I don't really like. There are a lot of features that this application actually has and it would be good if you could explore them all. But I only mainly use CapCut for combining all my clips into one video and then cutting them of the video so this would usually depend on what kind of feel you would like your video to have i personally like my video to have a bright and warm tone to it after reviewing everything and making sure that it's to my liking I save it and we move on to the next application that I use. The next editing app that I use is Billu, although I'm not sure if I'm actually pronouncing that correctly. Again, I just make sure to Actually, have. 
have a feature wherein you can actually draw on the pictures. So this is what I use when I'm too lazy to use Procreate. It doesn't really have to be perfect and you can just add as much as you want or as less as you want. And that's everything that I do when it comes to filming and editing my videos. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you also learned something. Thank you for watching. Bye!